just taking yeah. a cue from what you said about the catch joy uh that's going to be a bone of contention because i mean it's it's one thing to have a little bit of a bias but we heard the commentators who all of whom were an experienced lot we called it as we saw it harsha and all, just yeah. from all, all evidence say, of, of yeah yeah all i will say gotham as someone who's been a commentator for many years commentators don't always get it right commentators are not the best umpires so from that point of view you had to go with the umpire but the genesis of this lies in what happened a little earlier at the start of the ipl i think virat was upset with the decision a little earlier someone else was upset with the decision and they said there will be no soft signal and at that time i had said no you have to have a soft signal it it's very tricky when you have a soft signal to a ball that's taken on the boundary because the umpire has got no way to know whether it's right or wrong but the moment you take away the soft signal there will be no low catches ever because every single low catch will look not out that catch you can see the 100 times and as i've said this so many times before you will see what you want to see in that in that dismissal if you are the batting side you will see the ball bouncing on the ground if you are the fielding side you will see the fingers underneath and that is why you must have an instinct soft signal uh you you can laugh at me and say at at that distance it's tough to have a soft signal which i'd agree but i'd much rather you err in favor of the soft signal than otherwise because this could be a, in a big final everybody knows it's out it is out everybody knows it's out because the fingers are underneath there's four shortening it will always look like it's not out you always have to see the fingers are underneath that's what we were told when the the close catches came about when they did this when they did the experiment to show that a clean catch with the fingers underneath looked like a bump ball so they actually took a catch then filmed it it looked like a bump ball so at that point we were always told as broadcasters that if the fingers are underneath it is out and the fingers were underneath but the moment you go to the third umpire the third umpire has to prove conclusively that it was out and you'll never be able to do that you can see it for another 10 minutes you could never have been able to tell and so the moment we saw that we said right it's out with umpires has to give it not out and that's why you must so have the soft thing i'm going to come to you with one more issue and this is something we can turn into a little bit of a talking point joy to- uh, hashas mentioned what this exercise that happened i was part of another exercise that we did very similarly where you were trying to trying to educate people about the top angle of a camera and the low angle of a camera where you see it there's enough technology there are robot cameras that scour the ground across the boundary which are just there for fun essentially why would you not have a camera at that angle purely dedicated to getting that lowest angle of catches number 1 number 2 why would you not have a workshop where you have umpires involved in this way i'm sure they are involved and they want to do better sure nobody wants be. to deliberately get it wrong they're top class umpires why would you not involve them in every aspect of broadcast and have them on your side no i think the second part i agree with the first part is a bit difficult only for one reason which means the kind of height that you need to give you need three four cameras because you don't know which angle the catch is going to go so you need three four cameras around the ground at that elevation all looking downwards and really all those cameras come into play only for catches like this so it's it's just a resource issue of course it can be solved this is a problem that can't be solved it can be solved but it's a tougher problem to solve just given the fact that you need really big cameras the second part of it i completely agree is umpires must be involved because again let's step back a minute it's like saying television everyone knows in television that anyone whose face is thin is going to increase 20% that's television these are the rules of television that's you know it's it's a trick finally this your eyes don't see like that there are certain frames per second which are shown so everything that you see is your mind is stitching it together saying okay these frames are stitching it together it's a continuous picture so again when you look at things like this you have to have to give umpires that first signal there because it's much better than not having a signal there if you don't have a signal benefit of doubt will always go to batsman no third umpire will give a batsman out if he's not sure because the rule they've been taught ever since they started umpiring is a bowler fielders will get another chance a batsman doesn't get another chance benefit of doubt will always go one way so you have to allow that umpire the soft signal there's no other solution harsh had the solution there's no other way to do it So I think that's our conclusion here. We've got to here. choose the lesser of the two evils. Got we've got to choose the lesser of the two evils. In in a catch inside the circle, the umpire's got a decent idea. The umpire's instinct kicks in, and that's how cricket was played for 100 years. You went with the umpire's instinct. Even today, the reason you have an umpire's call 
is because when in doubt you want to go with the umpire the moment the technology is proven beyond any shadow of doubt it is only then that you overturn the umpire that's why you got an uh, uh, an umpire's call similarly inside the circle you go with the umpire's instinct and the third umpire has to prove conclusively that the on field umpire was wrong otherwise you go with the on field umpire now you've got to find the lesser of the two evils between what we saw today and having a uh, uh, and not having a soft signal so the moment they said that there's no soft signal i said everything will be not out from now on so you got you got to live with that there's a reason they had soft signals all all these years the soft signal was only brought in to prevent situations like these where everybody knows it's out but you have no evidence to prove it enough